Psychrometry is a graphical presentation of the physical and thermal properties of atmospheric air. The air within the air conditioning system undergoes substantial changes in temperature and humidity from position to position. These changes are of prime importance in assessing the air conditioner performance. These can be calculated mathematically, but these calculations are time consuming. Psychrometric chart provides a useful mean for rapid determination of these changes. So in psychrometry, once we draw a point on psychrometric chart, we will get a state point. And from this state point, all other physical and thermal properties of air like relative humidity, humidity ratio, absolute humidity, enthalpy, specific volume, density, dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature can be easily found out. So psychrometry also based uh, on the calculation that uh, we need to calculate for the prediction and for the air conditioning system. Psychrometrics is the scientific study of thermodynamics properties of air vapor mixture. Psychrometrics help in design and analysis of heating, ventilation and air conditioning systems. Also, it also helps in designing food product handling, processing, preservation and storage systems. So basically, uh, in psychrometry, we study about uh, the conditions of air, the moisture variation in moisture of air, addition of moisture, removal of moisture content, increase in temperature, decrease in temperature from one position to other position. Why this study is important in air conditioning system or in HVAC? Because in HVAC, uh, with the help of a refrigeration system or air conditioning system, we want to treat the air. So from the ambient condition, we want to bring a condition which is a favorable condition for the living organisms, for the human beings and for the perishable product. So without the knowledge of psychrometry, it is rather difficult to maintain this condition and psychrometry is a tool to maintain and control all these parameters in a better way. Here is the psychrometric chart. We can see here on x-axis there is a dry bulb temperature tdb so it is in degree celsius or in degree fahrenheit on y-axis on right hand side it is humidity ratio its unit is kg of water divided by kg of dry air or pound of water divided by pound of dry air both system you can find the psychrometric chart in si system and in fps system but in this study we will focus more on SI system in kg and in degree celsius system. So we also see the blue lines in the form of oblique curved and these are the relative humidity lines. Then we also see the line in the black color is coming from uh, top right position and going towards the bottom right side in the it's the enthalpy curved. And uh, also in the same scale, there are wet bulb curve over there. And then we have also red lines coming from top right side to the bottom side, a little bit in the vertical position, not full vertical. So these lines are specific volume lines. So the unit of enthalpy when we, we are using psychrometry is uh, kilojoules per kg of dry air. The unit of specific volume is cubic meter per kg of dry air and unit of relative humidity it is always measured in percentage 100%, 90%, 80%, 70% and so on. And then there is a wet bulb temperature lying approximately on the enthalpy curve lines and its unit is also in degree Celsius or in degree foreign heat. Another view of psychrometric chart. So this psychrometric chart is in SI system, SI units, and it is designed at sea level. So on the x-axis, we can see the dry bulb temperature in degree Celsius, and it is indicated by green lines. 
so all the green lines here we can see in the vertical lines perpendicular on the x-axis are the dry bulb line we can also say that these are the constant dry bulb lines at uh, 15 degree 20 degree 25 degree 30 degree etc and then on the y-axis we have humidity ratio and uh, it's normally units uh, unit is uh, kg per kg but also sometime it is in grams per kg of dry air and uh, these are shown from uh, purple ink with the help of purple color lines we can see so all the horizontal lines shown in the purple colors are the constant uh, humidity ratio line and we can see that uh, for example each line show a constant value of uh, and horizontal is shown by the horizontal lines on the psychrometric chart then we have also red lines there and shown in the form of percentage so these are the relative humidity lines and these are shown 100% the top line is always called as saturated line it is 100% relative humidity then we have 90% humidity 80% 70% and going towards the 10% and 0% then we are also seeing here that there are black line coming from uh, uh, across the uh, relative humidity line in the form of black color in the black colored line I can say so these are the enthalpy lines and we can see that the enthalpy values are given in the black color and uh, uh, all the parameters are written in the same color and same lines have been shown so that one can understand very easily then on this saturation line we are also seeing another parameter which is wet bulb temperature and this is shown by blue color so these uh, are the wet bulb temperature line over there then we are also uh, seeing here the green lines which are coming from top side not a hundred percent along vertical axis little bit inclined with vertical and these are the specific volume lines and this is all about the psychrometry so in two slides uh, uh, I have explained you how different lines are drawn on the psychrometric chart and what are their axes and what are uh, their values and values are already shown over there so in short psychrometric is a way of rapid determination of the state points as well as of different physical and thermal parameter of atmospheric air and uh, of any air state condition which we want to obtain. Psychrometer, psychrometric software are also available. For example, one name is PsychPro. And uh, in the conventional psychrometric chart, we will have to draw points with the help of pen or pencil. And then we will have to draw the process line. But in the psychrometric software like PsychPro, there is provision to point uh, to draw point uh, with the help of the software with the help of uh, tools and uh, we can it is rapid determination of the values uh, we have not uh, we, we are not supposed to see all the values here but there is a bar on the left hand side which can be seen what is the value of different parameters like uh, dry bulb wet bulb relative humidity and uh, one can see very easily and one can save time by using these types of software. So this slide is actually for the test of the students. And there are different lines uh, drawn on psychrometric chart by red colored. And uh, here one can understand that uh, how these lines can be named as. For example, there is A line. So we can say line of saturation are 100% relative, relative humidity line and we can see there are other line 90%, 80%. So, so this is uh, A is the line of 100% relative humidity. 
B B line is a line of constant relative humidity. Maybe this line is drawn at 50%, for example, and on this line, all the value of relative humidity will remain constant because this is a constant relative humidity line. Then a C point is a line of constant temperature because uh, at this is line drawn about uh, 22 degrees Celsius temperature for example and on this line the temperature will remain constant. So all the line which have been shown by vertical, vertical lines will be the constant temperature lines. Then D is the line of constant energy because this line is uh, parallel to the enthalpy axis. So all the line which, uh, which will be parallel to the enthalpy axis will be the constant enthalpy or constant energy lines and its unit will be kilojoules per kg of dry air. And then E is a line of constant water content or we can also say as line of constant humidity ratio. So on all the line which are in the form of horizontal line will be the constant water content lines or constant humidity ratio lines. This slide is about the composition of dry air. So air contains uh, about 78.1% nitrogen by volume and 20.9% oxygen by volume and 1% are other gases. So about 78% uh, nitrogen and 21% oxygen. This is by volume and by weight about 23% by weight oxygen and rest is nitrogen. So one more slide on cyclometric chart is also important. The cyclometric chart is a vital tool in evaluating any air conditioning system. Air contains water vapor as well as other gases and as air is cooled or heated, the relative humidity and moisture content of the air changes. The psychrometric chart plots the relative humidity and the enthalpy of humid air against the temperature and moisture content so that air conditioning processes can be modeled by drawing lines on the chart. So at uh, standard temperature and pressure that is called STP, the volume of dry air, the specific volume rather 0.83 cubic meter per kg of dry air and density of dry air is 1.204 kg of dry air per cubic meter at 20 degrees Celsius temperature and uh, pressure 101.3 Pascal. So this slide is about uh, how to locate state point and determine physical air parameters on a cyclometric chart. So this is basically a numerical problem and uh, this numerical problem will illustrate uh, how to draw a state point and how to find out the other undetermined parameters out of that. So this is a general numerical example. I will just read it out. The designed indoor air temperature and relative humidity of an air conditioned space at sea level are 75 degree F are 23.9 degree Celsius and 50% relative humidity. Find the humidity ratio, the enthalpy and the density of the indoor moist air condition. So this is the given data. And uh, this is most important point in order to tackle the psychrometric problem, we need two data points actually. Either dry bulb temperature or wet bulb temperature, dry bulb temperature or relative humidity, relative humidity or specific volume, any two points we need actually. And uh, with the help of these two points, a state point is located. So in this uh, numerical example, the two state points have already been given. And now we will discuss how to uh, solve these kind of problems. So first of all, we have two given points. One is the dry bulb temperature, which is 75 degree F or 23.9 degree Celsius temperature, which is dry bulb temperature. 
and relative humidity is 50 percent so with the help of these two points we will see the dry bulb temperature on x-axis and we will find a point 75 degree f or 23.9 degree celsius on x-axis and we will go vertical upward in such a way that this vertical line will cut the relative humidity line at 50 percent moisture content so once the point is located it will be encircled so this is the state point so now with the help of this point all other parameters can be found out for example in the second step we will just see the humidity ratio and what will we do now from this point we will go to the y-axis side we will draw a horizontal line and this horizontal line will cut the y-axis at a point at a reading and this reading was found to be 0 0.00927 so this is the humidity ratio in pounds per pound or kg of uh, water divided by kg of dry air same units pound per pound or kg by kg so this will be the value of a specific a, a humidity ratio in order to calculate the enthalpy now we will see the constant enthalpy lines on the chart and we will see where our point is locating and we will have to find out where the point is and uh, if there is not a certain point given then we will interpolate between the two points and we will find our value so in a psychrometric chart it's rather difficult to locate the exact point but as i have explained earlier that uh, cypro softwares are available and if we will download this on our laptops or computers then we can find the very exact value once a point is located, our other value will be shown on a left hand side bar and from where we can calculate the values. So in this numerical problem, the enthalpy values were found to be 28.1 BTU per pound. So after locating the state points, two unknown parameters we have uh, find out, found out. So for the determination of dew point temperature, the dry horizontal line from the space point R to the left, this line meets the saturation curve at a dew point temperature of 55 degree F or 12.8 degree Celsius. So this will be the dew point temperature. Then in order to calculate uh, the wet bulb temperature, dry line parallel to the thermodynamic wet bulb temperature lines through the space point R. The perpendicular scale to this line shows a thermodynamic wet bulb temperature which is found to be 62.5 F or 16.9 degree Celsius. So for the specific volume or density determination dry line parallel to the moist volume lines through the space point R the perpendicular scale to this line shows a moist volume VR is equal to 13.68 cubic feet per pound or 0.853 cubic meter per kg and the reciprocal of specific volume is called as density and we can calculate the density in the similar way. Humidity ratio the ratio of weight of water vapors to the weight of completely dry air mathematically humidity ratio is equal to weight of water divided by weight of dry air and uh, weight of water and weight of dry air are taken in kg so the humidity ratio is a unitless and its unit is kg of water divided by kg of dry air and sometime this uh, humidity ratio in some books uh, is represented by capital W as well. Humidity ratio is actually kg of water divided by kg of dry air or in FPS system pound of water divided by pound of dry air is found on the vertical y-axis with the lines of constant humidity ratio running horizontally across the chart. 
So in a psychrometric chart, all the horizontal lines shows the humidity ratio as we have discussed earlier. So in this slide, uh, we will prove that H is equal to 0.622 Pw over P minus Pw, where H is the humidity ratio, Pw is the partial pressure of water vapors, and P is the partial pressure of moist air, in including water as well as air, and Pa is the partial pressure of air. So assume Wa kg of air and WW kg of water behave as an ideal gas. It means that uh, the assumption of this proof is that we will have to assume the air water mixture mean air vapor mixture as an ideal gas because we want to apply the general gas equation here. So general gas equation is equal to PV is equal to NRT and uh, we will for the water we will use a subscript for water PWV is equal to NW or not into TAB. TAB mean T absolute temperature. T absolute mean degree Celsius plus 273.15. And for air, we can write PA into V multiplied by WA over MA into R not T into AB. So what we have done here, we have replaced the value of N. N is the number of mole. N is the number of moles. And uh, where MW and MA are the molar ma mass of water and dry air respectively. So what is a mole? Atomic weight, molecular weight, formula weight expressed in grams is called as a mole. And we have substituted the value of NW by WW over MW. And similarly for air, we have substituted this value. And two equations we have uh, found now. These two equations had formed. According to Dottel's law of partial pressure, P is equal to PA plus PW, or PA is equal to P minus PW. So put these values in equation 2 and uh, it, it is uh, the equation will become P minus PW into V is equal to WA over MA into R naught into TAP, T absolute mean. From definition of humidity ratio, we know that H is equal to WW over WA. For WW, rearrange equation 1 in the previous slide which we have discussed and uh, take WW on left hand side and all the other parameters on right hand side. It, the equation will become WW is equal to PW V into MW divided by R naught into T absolute. So now also rearrange equation number two in the form of WA so take WA on left hand side and all the parameters on right hand side. So the equation will become PA is equal to P minus PW into V into MA divided by R naught into T absolute. So plug values of WW and WA in the equation of humidity ratio, which was uh, humidity ratio H is equal to WW over WA. So we will put the value of WW and WA in this equation. So the equation will become as H is equal to PW over P minus PW into MW over MA. So the equation will become 0 0.622 PW over P minus PW because we have put the value of MW, the molecular weight of water, which is 18 and molecular weight of air, which is 28.9. And the ratio, if we put, uh, write uh, 18 divided by 28.9, the answer will become 0 0.622. And we have put the value here. And our proof uh, is uh, H is equal to 0 0.622 PW over P minus PW. So the uh, required expression have been proved. Humidity ratio 
it is the ratio of partial pressure of water to the partial pressure of saturated water pressures so mathematically relative humidity rh is equal to pw over ps that is vapor pressure divided by saturated vapor pressure so it is denoted by rh capital r phi and on the figure on right hand side we can see that the relative humidity line are just the curved oblique lines and uh, its unit is percentage another slide for the relative humidity relative humidity is a measure of the amount of water air can hold at a certain temperature lines of constant relative humidity are represented by the curved line running from the bottom left and sweeping up to the top right of the chart as shown on the diagram the line for 100% relative humidity or saturation is the upper left boundary of the chart so this was the explanation of relative humidity so in simple words we can say that relative humidity is the amount of moisture content which is present in the moist air divided by the moisture content of air which can be retained in air at saturation condition this was the definition of relative humidity in simple words another proof of the psychometric relationship so here prove that rh is equal to hp divided by 0.622 plus h into ps where rh is the relative humidity h is the humidity ratio p is the vapor pressure and ps is the saturated vapor pressure so we know that relative humidity is equal to partial pressure of water vapor to the partial pressure of saturated vapor pressure and also we have proved in the previous slide h is equal to 0.622 pw over p minus pw so from equation number one we can write as pw is equal to ps into rh so put in equation number two this value mean pw so the equation becomes h is equal to 0.622 ps into rh divided by p minus ps into rh so by rearranging and simplifying the expression becomes rh is equal to hp over 0.622 plus h into ps so this we want to prove actually specific volume total volume of one kg of dry air and its accompanying water vapors the specific weight of moist air is reciprocal of specific volume so these are uh, some expression for the specific volume but uh, it is only important thing to just remember the definition of specific volume and also keep in mind the specific volume is the reciprocal of specific weight and the unit of specific volume is always is cubic meter of moist air divided by kg of dry air the specific volume indicates the space occupied by air it is the increase of density and is expressed as a volume per unit weight density is weight per unit volume warm air is less dense than cool air which causes warmed air to rise and this phenomena is known as thermal buoyancy by similar reasoning warmer water has greater specific volume and is hence lighter than cool air on the psychrometric chart lines of constant specific volume are almost vertical lines with scale values written below the dry bulb temperature scale and above the upper boundaries saturation temperature scale vapor pressure is defined as the partial pressure exerted by water vapor present in the moist air the pressure exerted by fully saturated air with water vapor is called saturated vapor pressure and its unit is in pascal or kilopascal so this slide is about uh, different temperature scales used in 
thermodynamics and uh, in psychrometry. There are basically four, two scales, degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit, and two are the absolute scale, Kelvin and Rankine respect, respectively. So in the degree Celsius, temp uh, degree Celsius temperature scale, the freezing point of water is zero degree Celsius and boiling point of water is assumed as 100 degree Celsius. On the other hand, on the Fahrenheit scale, the freezing point of water is 32 degree F and boiling point is uh, 212 degree F. So, the in degree Celsius scale, the graduation from freezing point to boiling point has been divided into 100 points. And each consecutive reading is called as 1 degree Celsius. On the Fahrenheit scale, the uh, the boiling point and freezing point, the graduations are 180. So the scale has been divided into 180 small uh, fractions. So the distance or the between two consecutive reading is called as degree F. So the Kelvin scale is the absolute scale on degree Celsius. And we just add 273.15 degree to convert to the Kelvin scale. On the other hand, in case of Rankine scale, we will have to add 260 or 259.67. So this was all about different temperature scale used and their absolute scale. Dry bulb temperatures denoted by DPT or D into subscript DB. The temperature indicated by thermometer unaffected by moisture or radiation. Dry bulb temperature is located on the horizontal x-axis of the psychrometric chart and lines of constant temperature are represented by vertical chart lines as shown in the figure here. Wet bulb temperature denoted by WPT or WTW. When a mercury thermometer whose bulb is covered by a wick wetted with water and the air flow passing over the wick is at least 5 meter per second, the temperature indicated by thermometer is the wet bulb temperature. Wet bulb temperature is determined when air is circulated past a wetted sensor tip. It represents the temperature at which water evaporates and brings the air to saturation, that is adiabatic process. Determination of wet bulb temperature on a psychrometric chart follows lines of constant enthalpy and values are read on the saturation line. Wet bulb depression. It is a difference between dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature. Mathematically, it is written as wet bulb depression is equal to dry bulb temperature minus wet bulb temperature. Psychrometry apparatus for measuring wet bulb temperature and dry bulb temperature. As moisture evaporates from the wetted bulb, the air surrounding the bulb becomes more humid. Therefore, in order to measure the wet bulb temperature of the air in a given space, a continuous sample of the air must pass around the bulb. The purpose of the fan in figure 2.1 is to cause the air to be drawn across the wetted bulb. So it means that for the wet bulb temperature, we will have to wet the bulb by mounting a wick on the bulb in such a way that it should remain saturated and an air flow rate of 5 meter per second should be applied on it in order to make the saturation condition to record the wet bulb temperature. Conventional air velocities used are between 3 to 5 meter per second for normal size thermometer bulbs. Soft, fine meshed cotton tubing is recommended for the week. It should cover the bulb plus about an inch of the thermometer stem. The wick should be washed and replaced before it becomes dirty or crusty. Distilled water is recommended 
to give greater accuracy for the longer period of time. Figure 2.2 shows a device called a sling cyclometer. It is a commonly used especially for checking condition on a job. The instrument is rotated by hand to obtain the air movement across the bulb led adiabatic saturation temperature. So it means that the sling psychrometer is simple. There are two thermometers. So uh, out of which one thermometer bulb is uncovered, it will record the dry bulb temperature. But the condition should be that it should be unaffected by the radiation and moisture content. The other thermometer a little bit downside, they placed on the same apparatus. Its uh, bulb is covered by a wick and it's wetted with water always to give the saturation effect. And uh, uh, instead of uh, uh, throwing air flow with the help of a fan, it may be rotated in such a way it should experience an air flow of 5 meters per second. If we do like this without a fan, we can rotate the thermometer. So when the steady state reading will be obtained, we can record the dry bulb and wet bulb temperature. So why this apparatus is necessary? From this apparatus, we can get two readings and two points are required to start a process line on a cyclometer chart. And from these two values, dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature, a state point can be recorded on a cyclometric chart and this apparatus from this apparatus we can find the air condition all parameter just by plotting these two points and other point will be determined and will be can be found out from the cyclometric chart so the instrument is rotated until no further change in is indicated on the wet bulb the reading taken is at that time is the air wet bulb temperature. So thermodynamics wet bulb temperature is sometimes called adiabatic saturation temperature. This is another view of cyclometry apparatus for measuring wet bulb and dry bulb temperature. So different types of systems are available for the measuring of wet bulb and dry bulb temperature. Dew point temperature. It is a temperature of air at which water vapor in air starts condensing when air cooled at constant humidity and constant atmospheric pressure. Dew point temperature indicates the temperature at which water will begin to condense out of moist air. When air is cooled, the relative humidity increases until saturation is reached and condensation occurs. Condensation occurs on surfaces which are at or below the dew point temperature. Dew point temperature is determined by moving from a state point horizontally to the left along lines of constant humidity ratio until the upper curved saturation temperature boundary is reached. So this is the way how to determine the dew point temperature on a cyclometric chart. Enthalpy denoted by small h. The enthalpy of moist air is the heat contents of the moist air per unit weight of dry air above a certain reference point at constant pressure. Mathematically, enthalpy is equal to HA plus capital H into HB, where small h is the enthalpy of moist air in kilojoules per kg, HA is the enthalpy of dry air in kilojoules per kg and HV is the enthalpy of water vapors in kilojoules per kg and uh, enthalpy, simple enthalpy, small h is measured in kilojoules per kg. Enthalpy is the heat energy content of moist air. It is expressed in BTU per pound of dry air or kilojoules per kg dry air and represents the heat energy due to temperature and moisture in the air. The enthalpy scale is located above the saturation, upper boundary of the chart. Lines of constant enthalpy run diagonally downward from left to right across the chart. Lines of constant enthalpy and constant wet bulb are the same on chart 
but values are read off separate scales. More accurate psychrometric charts use slightly different lines for wet bulb temperature and enthalpy.